Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we're starting chapter 6, Descriptive Statistics. And this is probably one of the most important chapters in, in the entire book because you will be dealing with this even if you don't go into the math related fields. Even if you go into a field that has no math at all, you will still have to deal with statistics and most likely probability as well. Uh, so today we're starting statistics. Let's start with a, you know, what is statistics? And just a few terms, few uh, words that we have to know when using statistics. And the first question is, so what is statistics? Well, it's the study of data. And essentially, it's the study of data on how to collect it, how to summarize it, how to summarize it, and how to present it. How to present it. So let me show you a simple example. So for example, here is a kind of a rudimentary ex example of uh, data. And this, this column says days. And this column right here says height. And this could be anything, but I think this specifically refers to some kind of a water height, depending on the day. And it probably measures uh, tides as well. Uh, so here, for example, day 12, it says 6.5, day 13, 6.2. And every day the height is different. And using this data, we can actually then, so this is us collecting it, so we just collect the data. We can then summarize it. We can summarize it into uh, three specific statistical values, average height, so this is average height of, uh, let's just say, water level, which is 6.68. And this is average height for the entire, all of these values divided by the number of values. And uh, minimum height, this is the minimal level. This was 6.2. And the maximum height is 7.3. So this is maximum height, uh, maximum level of water. And this is us presenting it afterwards. So basically, you can present it by saying, so average is, uh, average height is 6.68. And uh, this is also known as the mean, um, and so on and so forth. So basically, statistics is always it's just always the same steps, and the steps are you know collect your data. So this is collection stage, then summarize it using mathematics, and then present it using um, words or sentences. And various educational fields, and actually various fields in general, use this type of uh, uh, mathematics. So for example, in medicine, medical field. Um, testing drugs and testing various uh, medications involves a lot of statistics. Also in sports, um, seeing the performance of an athlete or, uh, you know, may maybe you want to introduce some kind of uh, element to your, uh, to your team. Maybe you just wanted to have them train more and using statistics, you can see if this training is working or not working. Obviously in, thing in uh, fields like psychology, it's very, very useful. Uh, basically, entire psychology is based on statistics where you collect data and you try to analyze it and try to uh, formulate um, conclusions and basically formulate new theories uh, based on your psychological or sorry, your statistical findings. In politics, statistics is very useful um, for many things, but uh, the more important part would be seeing um, how someone is doing in certain regions around, around the country. So, for example, um, depending on um, what ideology you subscribe to, maybe in certain parts of the country you're more likely to win. So their statistics also comes in and you can see different factors, how it influences elections, how it influences voting as well. In fields like marketing and business, statistics is usually used to assess and to try to calculate uh, which strategies are working for you know selling a product, which strategies are not working. Uh, specifically in um, online marketing, it's very useful to uh, you know c combine this with um, different websites, for example, to see how customers are responding to certain things on the website. Uh, and there's lots of different ways of tracking this. And uh, so usually in marketing, statistics is extremely important. And last but not least, uh, of course, manufacturing. So this is when you build products, when you make products. Uh, so manufacturing field also uh, uses a lot of statistics where you can um, test different products. You can uh, you can use it for various um, quality control and basically for making better products and uh, something that customers are more satisfied with. Now there's a lot of other fields that use statistics. It's actually not limited to these. I would even say that almost every field in university uses statistics to some extent. So you do have to know this very well, uh, or at least understand it somewhat. So let's just talk a little bit more about specific terms we have to know for this chapter. The first term is population. And this refers to basically um, everyone, everyone that we want to study in a particular study. So for example, we want to find out something about our school. The entire school population is our population. So in this case, everyone in our school, everybody in our school is our population. 
So everyone, everyone, everyone. Uh, and this is this doesn't have to be people actually. This can be anything. This can be animals. This can be just simple numbers. But we call it this whole thing population. The second word related to to population is sample. Now sample is a tiny part of the population that includes part of the population. So this is actually, I should have drawn this a little bit bigger, but this is people inside. And this is sample. Essentially what sample is, it's the part of population that you take or zoom in onto in order for you to, to do your study. Because sometimes you can't really um, study everybody. It's really impossible to study everyone in the population. You have to take a sample and study that and then make your conclusion based on what you found here and then basically apply it to the whole population. Um, so let's just say our school has what, maybe a thousand students. Now we can study all of the all thousand students. But let's just say we want to study, we want to find out how many hours on average, uh, how many hours on average students in our school sleep. If you were to ask every student, it would take you a long while. So instead, you can take, let's just say 10 students from our school, randomly t select the 10 students and ask them how many hours they sleep. And this will be your random sample. So this is your sample of a population, population sample. And these usually, or I would say always, have to be selected randomly. For the most accurate results, they have to be selected randomly. In other words, you can't just ask your friends. You have to walk around school and randomly point at people and say, you over there, come over here, tell me how many hours you sleep. And this would be a random selection. When you collect this information from a sample, it's, it, has, it has a name actually. So this data from a sample, this data has another name. And also the data from population has another name. So let's just uh, talk about these two more terms right here. Number three, the term here is census. And census is essentially data collected from a population. So everything you collect from population is called census. But since we usually collect uh, data from a sample and then apply it to population, usually census is actually a kind of an estimate. It's based on uh, data that we can collect from our sample. So we don't actually collect data from population. We collect data from the sample. And this data is called, oops, this is number four, uh, this data is called survey. So this is something you've heard before. Survey means uh, it's a data collected from a sample. Collected from sample. So once you have your survey, you can uh, come to conclusion, come uh, have your results, and then apply this survey to make it into a census, and this will apply to the whole population. Another term here is parameter, and parameter has the word meter in it, so it means it measures something. And what it measures is, this is basically a numerical value, or numerical measurement value of something in the population, of a population, or actually of, an, uh, of some aspect, of an aspect of population. So in our case, we're talking about hours of sleep, so, numerical value of four hours that someone in our school got uh, as, as asleep last night, this will be a parameter in our population. And the last word here is statistic, statistic singular, Stati I don't know how to spell it, statistic. Statistic refers to, statistic refers to data gathered from a sample, oops, data gathered from a sample, that is then used to uh, estimate a parameter. Used to estimate, used to estimate parameters. So basically statistic is used for parameter estimation. So they're kind of related to each other. So these are the six terms that you really should be familiar with. Uh, try to remember what they mean, try to understand them. Now, uh, before we finish this video, let's just quickly talk about types of st statistics that we'll be studying and just the types of statistics that actually exist. So there are two major types of statistics uh, that we will be touching on or just that exist in general. So this categorical and also quantitative, and this just means numbers. So this is numerical in other words. Uh, whereas this is involves just categories and, or words. An example here would be uh, gender. So a category of gender. So 
males and females or um, operating systems so uh, you know do people use Windows or do people use Mac iOS or do people use Linux operate operative operating systems or things like cars you know what car do you drive so these are categories uh, quantitative are basically numbers four seven eight point two so these are quantitative uh, statistics. Furthermore, the quantitative actually can be divided or subdivided into two more. One of them is called discrete statistics. And the other one is called continuous. In discrete statistics, you have discrete numbers. So like numbers like one, two, four, so whole numbers in other words. And these are usually result of counting something, result of counting let's just say people, how many people pass through a gate or um, how many fingers I have on my hands or people have on their hands in general, on average. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six. Whereas continuous is uh, any number from basically minus infinity to infinity, including um, fractions and, and so on and so forth. So 8.6, seven divided by two and so on. Uh, so this is usually a result of measure, measurement or measuring something. So, for example, height of a player on a team, or in our case, the example we used before, how many hours students sleep in our school per day. So this would be an example of continuous quantitative statistics. And that's really it for the first uh, subchapter of chapter six. Essentially, this is the vocabulary we'll be using, something that you have to understand, because this is a super important field, and it's something that you'll definitely experience in life again. So try to understand what these are, what, what these mean, because we'll need to focus on this chapter for the next two weeks. It's going to be a pretty difficult chapter, and it's actually kind of fun. I find it fun. Hopefully you'll find it fun too, especially when we get to do some experiments. All right, thank you for watching, and bye-bye. Good luck to you.